Welcome to Interrogation, a game where two contestants have up to 20 questions to unravel a mystery. There are no prizes. It's all just for fun and glory. First contestant, category is animal. Go. Is it a mammal? Yes. Is it four-legged? Yes. Does it eat meat? No. Do we eat it? <laughs> I'm sorry. There's a running joke with Becky and I. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just to, there's a certain there's a certain fast food restaurant. <laughs> So it's cat. No. no. <laughs> but, but there are probably are there are probably cultures that do. I mean very yeah. Okay. Do we keep it as a pet? No. All right. So we don't eat it four legged. It doesn't eat meat. We don't keep it. Do we keep it as livestock? I think it would. Wouldn't it, Becky? With that, second, I got remind Becky what it was. Is it considered livestock? I think so. Isn't it? I don't think so. I don't... Okay, yeah, Becky. Yeah, yeah, Becky. It be... Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Becky lived on a farm, so she's gonna say yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Does it have horns? Horns? No. All right. No. Is it a horse? No. Of course, of course. <laughs> Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed, yeah. <laughs> Singing the song. <laughs> okay. Um, does it look like a horse? Yes. Is it a donkey? No. Is it a mule? Yes. You got it. On what's my line? There was only one animal that was ever a contestant, and that was a mule. It was Francis the talking mule. And when the when the when they brought it on, they act, they tried to hide the fact that there was an animal on there. And so John Daly says, "I will be answering for the, for the guest, <laughs> um, the mystery guest." So all the panels were were blindfolded. Um, but yeah, that was the only animal ever uh, that appeared on What's My Line. Okay, Rick, what makes your what makes Bill the Vampire special in your book? All right. Well, when he's first turned, everybody kind of thinks he's a disappointment. Uh, everybody in the vampire world, because he's neither good looking, he's not strong, he doesn't really listen. Uh, but it turns out Bill is a special kind of vampire. Um, what's known as a free will, something that hasn't been seen in about 600 years. Okay, and what's a what, free makes will? Him, what initially makes him special is the fact that older vampires are able to control younger vampires, and that's kind of how, how they keep order. Okay. So this thing called compulsion, where they kind of can get in each other's heads and order them about. Bill, for some reason, is immune to this. Oh. So they tell so him what to do. everything. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and as a result, there's... So, some some of the like you know some of the vampires are kind of freaked out about this because it's something new and different they haven't seen and some of the other vampires just can't stand it because there's this jerk who they're trying to put in lock keep in line and he's not doing uh you know what he's supposed to okay well i can see where that and then okay so you're actually even adding um to in the world you're adding where bill is a is it's kind of special in the world itself. So that's exactly. more reason why the book is following this special vampire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, cool. Cool. Well, um, we'll see how George does uh, against this. See if he can beat 11. Uh, if you are a YouTuber or an author and like to appear on this uh, game show, uh, there in the description, there's a link to where you can apply as a contestant. Uh, this is a part of a series is a best out of nine uh, currently is two to one in favor of Rick with two ties. 
So we'll see after this commercial break how George does. Welcome back to interrogation. Well, Sir Willow, uh, is there something else you'd like to tell us about your YouTube channel or your experiences? Sure. Um, Wait a second. I don't think we ever had last episode ask you the chronological order that you worked in theme parks. Did we go through all of them? Yes. Oh. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> nope. That's okay. That's a tease for people to watch the uh, the episode before this one. That, yeah, <clears> throat> 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 that was done on purpose. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I, I worked at all the parks, and of course, over ten years of working at parks, you get all these stories. And uh, the whole reason my channel started was because basically my family got sick and tired of me telling the same stories over and over and over again. And so my son had had a little bit of success actually on YouTube, and one of his college friends actually had paid most of his college bill off of videos doing Rubik's cubes. So wow. my son kind of sarcastically said, well, dad, why don't you just start telling your stories to the camera on YouTube? Maybe you'll actually make a little something and you won't drive us crazy. (laughs) That's actually how my channel started was my son helped me uh, get set up to uh, just film on my phone initially and play around with a few things. And it just kind of grew from there. So did you start your channel? It has been um, actually this month is five years. Five years. Yeah. Wow. I hadn't even thought about that. Huh. Well, so. how many videos do you think you've done so far? Um, last count was something. It was approaching 400. I hope to so, be there someday. Yeah. Someday. It, it's, I, I look back and I'm like, I, I had no idea I had done anywhere near as many videos as I have, but a couple videos a week and sometimes an extra one here or there if I'm traveling and it adds up. Mm, cool. Well, George, are you ready? Ready? To- I hope so. Let's see if we okay. can catch up to him. All right. Contestant, the category is animal. Go. Uh, would this animal be a pet? Okay, I will yield to Becky, who lived on a farm, and she says it could be. I've never heard of it as a pet. Okay. Whoops, whoops. You're not going up in numbers. You're going down. Yeah, no, I'm going down. I'll take extra (laughs) yes. There you go. (laughs) Okay. um, Would this be an animal that you eat? For Americans, typically no. I'm okay. sure it's eaten by other cultures. Speak for yourself. Dogs are eaten by other cultures. I mean, <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry. Eats to the you know. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that's um, happened. I'm sure that's <laughs> happened. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. Okay, so would it be an animal you would find on the farm? Yes. Uh. Would it be a wild animal on a farm? No. No. Okay. So it is domesticated then. Uh, Yeah. Does this animal. Domestication. (laughs) Does this animal produce food? Produce food? Oh, like a a cow produces milk. No, no. 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 Okay. Well, well, no. Well, tasty, tasty pigeon droppings. You know, <laughs> it helps produce food on a farm, but no. Okay. Uh, is the animal a mammal? Yes. Does it eat other animals? No. Hmm. Um, but it's not an animal. <laughs> Rick. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, he's, he's giving you pressure. You got just four more to go. <laughs> You're real close, though. Um, oh, he's doing the watch thing. <laughs> Start drumming your fingers on your microphone. Ah, <laughs> uh, ooh. Wow. Okay, so everything I'm thinking One, of. A typical thing that they do on, um, is to recount everything you figured out so far. Yeah. 
Now that's so. I mean, it's not a pet. It's not one that we eat. Um, it's a mammal, but it doesn't eat other animals. So I mean, that eliminates cats. It's not a pet. So there's the dog. Um, not something that produces food. So there goes your cows and pigs. Um, it's not wild, so it wouldn't be like a fox. Um, also, I would. A lot of people consider horses pets, so I wouldn't. No, count that. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think what else would be on a farm. Okay. Um, well, let's see, sheep. See so people problem, eat Rick? people eat sheep, so that's mudden. Um. Hmm. There are some people. I'll have to. There are some people who would consider this a pet. I would never, but there are some people who would consider this a pet. I think I said that before too. Yeah, you said that already. Becky, Becky said that some would consider this a pet. I would not consider this a pet. Um, I said the only one I could think of. Okay, so is it a horse? No. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um. Oh, I'm trying to think what else would be on a farm that I haven't covered in one way or another. Um, is it eaten by other animals? Well, all animals eat other animals. I mean, yeah, well, it, what do you mean? I mean, bears will eat wolves if they get a chance. I mean, I mean, okay, squirrels will eat meat if you give them a chance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean. <laughs> Um, seriously i mean the the only, the only thing that's not no killer whales eat white sharks <laughs> okay i mean everybody eats everybody oh goodness okay um what's in the i'm still kind of going okay so what about mice but people keep mice as pets oh yeah um it's same thing with rats and yeah. ratatouille one of my favorite yeah. things <laughs> Would never want to be in a restaurant that was made by rats, but you know. Um, like I said, that I am okay. Raccoons. I, I actually have a friend that's got a pet raccoon, and they'd be considered wild so generally, that'd anyways. Wild. That'd be insane pet to have. Oh, it's nuts. No. <laughs> they love it to death, but it's nuts. Um, there are people who keep cobras as pets, and I think they're yeah. insane. Oh, my daughter wants an iguana. Desperately, she really wants an iguana for a pet. So. Okay, I used to have a pet caiman. Yeah, oh, what? A what? Caiman, mm-hmm. South American alligator. Probably about yay big. Started off about yay big, uh, got much bigger as it as the year as, <laughs> as it went on. Jeez. So you went out for walks with it, commonly? Oh no, this thing hated did, everything. Did a dog park. <laughs> I've <laughs> never had such a vicious animal. Oh, I oh, bet. Okay, George. Got three more to go. Three more to go, and I'm blank on what could be on a farm like that that I haven't covered somehow. Um, random, really random guesses. Is it a mole? That's <laughs> wild. Me a mole? Yeah. No, that's wild. You that already said, you know, is a wild animal. It's not a wild animal. Um, Unless you can tell me where you have trained moles. <laughs> and yeah, I think, okay, a donkey, but I know people would call that a pet. Same thing with a mule. But, okay, is it a donkey? What? 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 Is what it were a donkey? <clears throat> I can't hear her, so. Okay. No, it's not a donkey. Oh, my. Um, does it... Okay, uh, wait, wait a second. Um, <laughs> Jesus. I like doing this to him. I get him stumped. <laughs> No, I'm not, not stumped. I'm, I'm I'm put in a corner because of how you use. Wasn't wasn't I'm, a question. 
was not a question, but I'm wondering if he thinks that it's the same thing. You understand? Uh, no, because my okay. Um, I can follow up then. Is it a mule? Because they yeah. are different. Yes. Okay. You guys tied. Another tie. Okay. So, because okay. I was going to follow up with that. Okay. Um. <laughs> no, because the mules uh, half donkey, half horse. Right. What's a donkey? It's a donkey. It's a, yeah. It's a different species. Right. Always oh, saying a horse is a donkey and a horse and a donkey. Is a mule, right? Yes, right. A horse, yeah, half, a, half horse, a horse half with a donkey speed. makes a mule, and all yeah. mules are what sterile because of that. Mm -hmm. They can't breed right. themselves. Right. So why would you ever make a? Why would you make a mule? Because, because they're not as stubborn as a donkey. And you can ride them much more easier. Train them. Yep, but, and they're good pack animals. Yeah, mm -hmm. pack yeah. animals. But a lot of people have donkeys as pets a lot. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. A lot. <laughs> See, I would never view the only mules I've ever encountered was in Grand Canyon, and they were not. I would never consider them a pet. And I would think they'd still have wild. Um, wouldn't be mules or donkeys. No. They're donkeys. Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, it's two to two now. No, 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 no. It's still two to one. Rick's favor with three ties. We're, next episode I will be so we're, we're down to three to decide a winner here down to three I, I gotta pick one up quick you got you got yeah uh, Rick can just now coast from here on out I'm sure <laughs> <laughs> all right see you guys next episode bye